The drama is not stopping as we go into episode 8 of season 1 of Zalila and Chow. Leah is settling for real. Let's talk about it. The episode opens up on Leah's actual decision for settlement. They are going into mediation, prepping to be able to settle out of court. She is just going to take the money and run. And through this episode, we actually learn a little bit more to the story. Leah has been basically lying this entire time. She has been telling half the truth. She always wanted to just be able to get the money. She's been manipulating Delilah. She was trying to manipulate Greg Shea before he died. And ultimately, while I do believe that she didn't necessarily have anything criminal to do with all of the things that are actually wrong with what's happening so she didn't have anything to do with the c-15s she didn't actually have anything to do with greg shay's death she did know a lot more information than she let on and that information would have been so helpful for delilah in doing this case they probably could have got to this point a lot quicker but she purposefully held that information back because of nate and because delilah really sunk her teeth into this case after she realized what was going on within this case could have possibly had something to do with Nate and the reason why he's actually in that wheelchair and as we know Nate is her brother that she loves very very deeply so that makes sense I've been teetering on the fence about whether I like Leah or not this whole entire time and what whether I felt bad for her because sometimes she gives you know did see just in the wrong place at the wrong time got into an inappropriate relationship with her boss was compromised all of that but then the next moment she's given confident I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm not a victim here you really just don't really understand where she falls in the grand scheme of things. Ultimately, I don't think that she should have did Delilah like that. And I'm so glad she actually takes accountability for how she did Delilah in this season because she gives Delilah a little piece of information that she needs to be able to press forward and press a little bit harder onto Osborne. Yeah, he got the settlement with Leah and they're not going to trial about this but she's able to get a hundred million dollars out of him to be able to support any of the troops that have been impacted negatively uh, around the malfunctions of these C-15s because of an email that Leah still held on to that uh, actually provided a little bit of corroboration for some other things on the back end so we do kind of get a little resolution there but in this episode we learned that the C-15s and the drama around its malfunction is just the tip of the iceberg in reference to the shady dealings and the overall plot of this show so while we were introduced to a lot of the drama and tension when it comes to the two best friends Tamara and Delilah and then got an understanding of how Delilah navigates within her professional and personal life with the crux of this potential case and this issue now that that is resolved we realize that the drama is still not going anywhere Delilah and Tamara are still in very shaky grounds Tamara is seeming to be on more shaky grounds within her relationship because she's prepping to get married but her fiance Casey is running off to Riley and not telling her what he's what he's doing who he's with any of those things hiding different things he is politically connected and we can start to see the partners within Tamara's law firm moving real racist like and real shady like and that's also presenting an issue that he can't necessarily jump into so the drama to say the least is not ending anytime soon I'm going to take a moment to jump out of the Tamara Delilah freaking corrupt drama and jump into a little bit more lighthearted drama because at the top of this episode we also get to see Gordon. Gordon has let Katia move in and child. This is the this is my problem. This is my problem when it comes to mistresses and now okay she's the official girlfriend they made it official he's no longer cheating on his wife anymore because he they're not together okay cool but as a mistress or because that's how y'all started off Katia is so insecure she thinks that every decision that's being made is being made in spite of or in consideration of Delilah and she's in competition with Delilah girl Delilah's not in competition with you so Gordon and Katya get into this argument at the top of the episode around 
Maya's actual recital and she's like oh why can't I come to the recital I want to support Maya I can't come because Delilah won't be comfortable with it and it's like no girl you can't come because Maya won't be comfortable with it because Maya don't like you you want to show up at this girl's recital not to support her but to stake your claim and to make your presence known to Delilah which is already from a very selfish place and it's like I'm trying y'all I'm trying not to dislike Katya but the fact that you were already of the woman and then you're moving real insecure you're moving real give me attention you're moving real selfish you're moving real I need to be slapped it's it's making it very hard for me to empathize child I can't if you're gonna go get somebody at least get somebody with some sense a little bit of confidence and self-esteem and can stand on their own because Katya ain't it I said what I said now back to Tamara and her drama so the racist conversation comes out you know Casey alludes to the fact that the partners in her firm are being very very ridiculous and racist with this new bill they're trying to get passed Tamara actually goes and confronts Lil Wayne and then they concoct some kind of scheme to get Big Win or his father out of the actual uh, law firm and I think that this is a horrible idea the fact that Tamara is going to partner up with him and try to push this man out at the end of the day that's his father at the end of the day he started this law firm and if he has to pick between the two at the end of the day he's not going to pick you Tamara is setting herself up for a world of hurt if she's going to trust this man to actually be on board with the things that she believes should happen how they should move forward he is not going to see this through I can already see that from a mile away Delilah recruits Demetria to be Nate's custody lawyer as he is getting out of the VA today and luckily their dad is going to bring him home with him so he don't have to worry about figuring out what does an assistant living home look like and he can literally have the support and love that he needs from a really close family as he goes into battle for custody as we know Christine has been cheating on him child and she had the nerve to come and try to get custody of Dion, even though it's been six months since she's even seen him. And Delilah already peeps what's going on. She knows that she wants custody just so that she can also be able to try to take the house from Nate. So they are prepping for that. And of course, Delilah cannot rep him. So she calls on Demetria to be able to step in and do it. So we definitely get to see that in this episode as well. And I think Demetria is going to pick Christine's lawyer apart. This is going to be no sweat off her back sis is about this life and i can't wait to see it because christine is raggedy and so is their little raggedy muscle bound friend before the end of the episode we get casey and tamra's engagement party with the, all the who's who of charlotte and they get to mix a little bit of business with pleasure i think that tamra and delilah's friendship is going to be on the men now that this case is over even though it definitely pulled at a particular weak points in reference to morality and ethics and kind of how the two girls see each other specifically how Delilah sees Tamara but Delilah seems very invested in keeping her friend and supporting her through these nuptials so we are not going to see them completely fall apart before the end of this season they're definitely going to make it if Tamara makes it down the aisle they're going to make it to the aisle together for sure and we leave off on the episode on a cliffhanger the woman that Mace went to go meet with to potentially be the head of her security goes missing and now Mace is missing and police are looking for him they have a warrant out for his arrest and the episode kind of ends there so next episode will definitely be focusing on finding mace delilah is going to be worried completely sick because even though she has jamal we've seen him in this episode hey jamal there's definitely still strong love and family ties to mace and delilah is not going to be able to rest until he is safe and sound and cleared of any wrongdoing and now it's your turn are you watching delilah tell me in the comment section down below if you are watching delilah i think that the show is just so entertaining i absolutely love it it's not one of the shows that i am like super obsessed with like all american or snowfall or even power but it's such a still good drama and a really great show that i can get invested for the hour that i'm watching and really feel for these people like tamra and delilah Lila, who they stress me out for a little bit every week and I absolutely love it so tell me what you think of Delilah down in the comment section below tell me what you think of this episode and let me know what you think is going to happen in the next episode if you're new here I'm Erica Vane and I post new entertainment television film and music videos every day sometimes multiple times a day and you should really join the tribe by hitting subscribe we have the best community and I promise you're going to love it here if you miss any of my Delilah coverage you can check it out here with my Delilah playlist or if you're looking for something else to watch I got two series suggestions for you right here I think you're going to like these too. Get into it. See you in the next video.
Bye.